he's here. Hey, Shirley, are you there? Hi. Oh, hey. 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 What? what are we making? Uh, we're making a smoothie. Oh, that sounds delicious. I hope you brought enough for all of us. Um, sure, you should have some, it's great. Okay, awesome. All right, so uh, let's get started with the questions and then um, you let me know when you're gonna uh, light that bad boy blender up and I'll <laughs> stop with the questions so that you can get to work, okay? So tell me, what was your first memory of uh, making a charitable donation? Do you remember? Um, my Sadaka box when I was a preschooler. Wow, that's we cool. That's a great story. Where, where was that school? JCC in Oakland. Oh, that's awesome. And do you still use the Sadaka box? I do not. I make my donations online via credit card on the Federation website. <laughs> wow, you are good. All right, so we're going to get a little less deep on this one. What's the best Jewish deli in LA? Um, I don't know. I'm kosher and I don't really love meat, so I'm not really into deli. All right, that's a good answer. Um, I mean, you can get, get a good potato knish, maybe. Uh, Pico kosher yeah, yeah. deli, maybe? I don't know. Um, all right, so uh, staying on the food train, what's your least favorite Jewish food? Oh, oh wow. Good answer. And the facial expression was magical when you said it, so that's perfect. Um, how about your favorite Jewish food? Um, it's a tie between latkes and gondi, Persian food. Wow. Love it. Love, always love a good latka. All right. And um, we just passed uh, Purim. Humantashin filling. What is the best? Ooh, raspberry. Yeah, I'm with you. I am with you. Okay. Um, let's go a little, little back. Go back in the uh, DeLorean time travel. What was the theme of your bat mitzvah? Um, the colors purple and silver. The color purple, not the movie, the actual color? No, not the movie. Just, those were my two favorite colors Oh, wow. That's awesome. Everything was that color, including my dress. Mm, you still have it? You still have the dress? <laughs> I do not. I still have oh. it. <laughs> Interesting. That would be cool if you did. Um, no. All right. So if you could have dinner, or in this case, a smoothie, with any Jewish person throughout history, who would it be? Oh, God. Any Jewish person throughout history? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ah, beautiful answer. Wow. Little known fact, I share her initials, but that's pretty much all we share. Um, <laughs> uh, and how many times a day do you, does your mom call you? At least once. At least once? Yeah. Huh, you said it with a smile at least. Do you need some help with that? No? Yeah. You do? Oh, got oh you got it. it. <laughs> See, your mom came through. Uh, have you called your mom today? Uh, not yet. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, let's talk about Jewish camp. You have a favorite memory from Jewish camp? Um, um, I only went to camp as a preschooler there at the JCC Camp Katantan. I loved it. The sandbox. Oh, the sandbox. Love it. Um, and uh, birthright. Mm -hmm. Did you meet your soulmate on birthright? Unfortunately, no. Oh. Still looking. Still looking. Uh, and have you been to Israel? And uh, if so, let's uh, share your favorite memory. Seven times, yes. Um, my favorite memory is with CLI in 2018 when we had a beautiful Shabbat sunset, Tel Aviv overlooking the Mediterranean. Okay. Wow. Turn this on. You're going to go? Light it up? Okay, go. <laughs> All right enough good all right let's get going um larry david or jerry seinfeld seinfeld wow quick answer uh favorite adam sandler movie big daddy huh cool all right favorite jewish celebrity uh wow it's amazing okay favorite jewish athlete Favorite Jewish athlete? I don't know. I'm not really into sports. You could pick yourself, I guess. I pick me. Yeah. Great. Perfect. All right. You live in LA. What's your favorite thing about being Jewish in LA? 
my favorite thing about being Jewish in LA is the community and how uh, we have each other's back. Nice. What flavor is that? Uh, this is not a question. What flavors you got there? Uh, blueberry and green, mostly. And a lot of huh. nuts. Yeah. All right. All right, let's, uh, once you're done with that, let's take it in the other room so we get some uh, new things to look at. Um, and uh, so while we're walking, um, talk to me about how you got involved with the Federation. I got involved with the Federation because I wanted a way to express my Jewishness that was centered around community um, oh. and not necessarily uh, religious practices, but like rather living our values as a community and supporting values. Well done. That was impressive. Yeah. Um, all right. So if like an alien, like from outer space, yeah. uh, came to earth and said, I'm not going to do an alien voice, but said, what is the Jewish Federation? How would you explain the Jewish Federation to that alien? Oh, alien? This is actually a bad spot. Okay. So if an alien, go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, an alien comes to earth yeah. and asks yeah. you, says, Hey, Shirley, um, What's the Jewish Federation? What would you say? I would say the Jewish Federation is an organization of awesome people who come together to respond to the community's greatest needs, challenges, um, and to support the values of the community here and abroad. Wow. Again, well done. You get a gold star. Um, <laughs> most impactful Federation memory? Oh, yes going to the GA summit, the wow. conference. Yeah, when it was here in LA, that was amazing. To just be in a room with like a thousand people who are the leaders from all over North America um, and be in the room where it happens and the decisions are made and the important things are talked about. And that was really influential on me. That's cool. That is awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, who inspired your connection to Judaism? My parents oh. and my grandparents. That's so nice. That is beautiful. Yeah. Um, all right. Don't want to take the smile off your face, but um, <laughs> did you wake up anxious at all today? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> and on a scale to 10, one to 10, how anxious are these questions making you? Um, I'm probably at like a five right now. A five. All right. We may have to dial that up a little bit. So we're going to go with this one. Okay. Uh, recite the four Passover questions. Do you know oh, what they gosh. ask? Uh, why is this night different from all other nights? Why on this night do we eat? Uh, on other nights, we eat matzah or bread. Tonight, we'll eat matzah. Why do we eat bitter herbs, I think is one. And no, is it about no. reclining or dipping? There's one about dipping. We That's don't all four dip. of them. You got and it. Just, I the got first, it? Yeah, you got, all, you got them all. Okay, yeah. great. You're great. amazing. Great. Thank you. yeah. um, all right. Uh, favorite Hanukkah present? <gasps> Oh God, uh, uh, favorite Hanukkah present. Nobody got me any presents this year. Ever, ever. I just realized. What? <laughs> that sucked. Um, ever. Favorite Hanukkah present ever. Honestly, no, no. The, the best Hanukkah present ever was this year when David digs uh, relief for Hanukkah. That oh. was a gift. That was amazing. Uh, one question going off the list. Is that plant behind you real? Because it is in spectacular shape. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's real. Uh, I got it from my office when COVID started. I rescued it and brought it home and it's my baby. Wow. Well done. Um, all right. Tell us something you will atone for this year. Tell, tell you what? You will atone for in this year. Oh, God. Uh, what will I atone for this year? That's heavy. Can we skip that one? Sure can. All right. Is there something you want to kvetch about beside that last question that I asked you? No, I'll just kvetch about that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Um, what Jewish value resonates with you the most? Mm, taking care of each other. Love it. I, I agree. Um, and can you, not can you, have you, can you get drunk off Manischewitz? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Uh, have you ever eaten a whole challah in one sitting? Yes. All right. Um, all right. Big question. Big topic these days. Bagels, L.A. or New York City? Oh, New York City. Okay. That's fair. Um, all right. 
So uh, it might be smoothies, but maybe we'll think of something else. Um, during the pandemic, what was your go-to coping mechanism? Walking for hours, listening to a podcast. Wow, that's a good one and healthy, I might add. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, and uh, let's describe some um, your philanthropic leadership. Uh, how did that look five years ago compared to now? Um, you know, I was like, in and out of leadership, like participating on boards and volunteering kind of here and there. Um, maybe five years ago it was like at a, at a low point because I was building my career. Got it. Um, yeah. But nice. now it's very different. It is. And it's impressive. Yeah. Um, and okay, Jewish future, right? Yeah. What is your vision for the Jewish future? Ten years from now, what's your vision? Yeah. Um, diverse, inclusive, thriving. Wow. Two bi three big words. Uh, three big words. Yeah. yeah. What part of the Federation's work are you most proud of? Oh, yeah. I'm most proud of CLI, the Community Leadership Institute, and what they've built there with creating the next generation of leaders for our community and sending them out to all the different orgs in LA or wherever we go, we have the skills, the knowledge, um, and the relationships to truly, truly make an impact. Wow. You're right. And you're hired to do, <laughs> to do this, to do this. I'll work um, there someday. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, all right. Favorite TikTok trend. Are you a TikToker? I'm not on TikTok. No. All right. Well, then we will skip number 36. And we will end it by saying, you know what, Shirley? Thank you so much for your time. You are awesome. You're Enjoy awesome. your smoothie. Thank you. Spritz the plant. And uh, I really, really, really appreciate this. You're awesome. It's nice to meet you. You're awesome. L'chaim. I'm going to go get that. <laughs>